Women get keen like barbarians for attempting to have sex in court, yet pedophiles get to profess their love for minors and are unharmed. I don't see it as failure. I'll bet you'll do that again without any concern because you can't let it slip by just paying the fine when you get caught. Public caning will teach you more about humanity. Well, here's what people are saying about the public caning. My name is Wan Nurishaza Zahira Binti Onursli. I recently completed my master's thesis in linguistic framing of the lesbian caning issue in Malaysian online news portals. For this paper, I help people to understand this issue better by offering clearer picture on the use of specific lexical items deployed from the lens of advocates and opponents. I strongly believe that news portals could be used as a tool to influence people. This is much truer when it comes to lesbian caning, a topic which is deemed controversial in this country. Punishment for LGBT in Malaysia is not considered harmful or discussed openly until this issue is highlighted by the local press. And the most garrulous spirit of this issue is perhaps during the public regulation of the Trungano lesbians, which triggers a countless number of populists with a different points of view. There are three objectives of this study to identify framing of the lesbian caning issue in the mainstream online news portal, to examine framing of the lesbian caning issue in the alternative online news portal, and to investigate differences of framing of the lesbian caning issue between the mainstream and alternative online news portals. This study used a qualitative design with a discourse analysis, specifically framing analysis method, to analyze 50 news articles. This methodology enables in-depth analysis of the viewpoints given by politicians, religious leaders, and laypersons in the Star and Malaysia Kini news portals regarding this issue. It brings to the fore the manner in which these two portals actually promote certain interpretations by selecting certain linguistic frames so that the recipients will view this issue in that manner. Based on Namusoga's 2016 six frames of homosexuality, the findings revealed that both news portals demonstrated a frames of human rights, culture, religion, and legislation. This study also found out other rising frames such as threat and execution of a punishment. For human rights, LGBT rights were often centered on rights to equality and to freedom of expression and right to life and personal liberty. For culture, LGBT people were associated with negative terms like unwanted as role models for their children and fighting for the freedom of animals. For religion, the caning was linked to the Shi'as and Taliban style of government in order to portray it as religious radicalism. For legislation, negative adjectives such as draconian legislation and unconstitutional were used to regard punishment as illegal. For threat, harmful references were given to label the caning negatively, such as harsh and barbaric, cruel, inhuman, and degrading. For execution of punishment, phrases such as using only medium force and with the strength almost similar to a forceful tap were used to indicate the minus of this punishment. One of the major differences worth to mention here is that, as an alternative media, Malaysia Kini also included comments from the subscribers. Most important, this study revealed that all the comments selected were negative towards the Kini punishment, especially through the religion and threat frames. To some extent, this indicates the one-sided coverage or biasness in the portal's choice of comments. The leading frame in the star is religion, contrawise, the dominant frame in Malaysia Kini is legislation. Another remarkable finding is that both portals didn't favor this issue as a cultural issue, although culture is viewed as one of the key frames that inform homosexuality in this country. This research should prove useful in developing a possible framework in understanding this issue in Malaysia. Not only it could serve as a reference for other future studies in the field of framing contentious issues, this new list of distinguished patterns of framing may give an indication to the media practitioners and decision makers on how the religious related and controversial material should be handled to promote consensus and integration. With that, I thank you.